In terms of a stage where you could bear your soul, the Surrevet Gallery on Palm Beach Island is quite an impressive one. The artists here working in different mediums all have something in common, something we don't usually share or shine a light on, bipolar disorder. All of the art here was made by artists still living with bipolar disorder, except pieces made by Ryan, the son of Joyce and Dusty Sang. Our son was very creative. He had bipolar disorder, and when he first started to present, he was probably five years old. We were amazed at what we found, and the sayings that are on the wall there that he wrote when he was 15, we didn't find them until after he had passed away, and they were in a little tiny book, and we blew them up because we thought they were so meaningful. After Ryan's death at age 24, they discovered a lifetime of creations in music, art, and writing. My, my favorite is, uh, I wonder how long forever is, because I already have plans. <laughs> and, uh, and so he was a brain on fire, which is very true of high-function creative people who have bipolar disorder. Through the Ryan Licht Sang Bipolar Foundation, artists from all over the world with bipolar disorder enter a juried selection and can receive grants. And they see the creativity that these people have. It truly helps to break the stigma of this illness. Opening our understanding and supporting science for earlier diagnosis to share the beauty of these brains with hope for a more beautiful tomorrow. Ryan was our only child. This foundation helps to keep him alive for us.